we have Ryan Wiley. And on the right, we have Shaquille O'Neal. Now, what do these two people have in common? Oh, well, let's just throw something out there. Uh, they both have gorgeous smiles. Uh, they mirror each other. They're both men. What else? Anyone? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> How about this? They're both athletes. That's right. Now, I bet you're wondering, wait a minute, if they faced off in basketball, the guy on the left is going to get stepped on, and that's absolutely correct. But the thing I'm leaving out is that Brian Wiley is a cyber athlete. He plays, he plays the game League of Legends for a living. According to NBC, three million people are playing League of Legends right now across the globe, with 12 million unique visitors every day. Now, let's run through League of Legends. For those of you who don't know, this is Summoner's Rift. Okay, it's a square, but we're going to call it Summoner's Rift. Now, in Summoner's Rift, there's two teams of five people who go for their, each other's bases. These bases are connected by three roads, which uh, create minions that go down them towards the bases every 30 seconds. On these roads, there's three towers that shoot the minions and people. And, Java update. <laughs> There's also two more towers at the base for extra defense and three barriers. Once you kill these barriers, the minions on that particular road get stronger. Finally, we have the Baron Nasher and the Dragon. What's a Baron? A giant worm. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is a picture of the dragon. The dragon. So. Uh, two teams will go for the Baron and the Dragon to get gold that goes to their entire team that makes them all get stronger items to kill the towers and the bases faster. Alright, so we know what League of Legends is. Why is that important? Because it's Brian Wiley's job. He plays League of Legends for a living. Cyber athletes entertain, are dedicated, and they uh, provide for the big picture of society. The way they entertain is by having tournaments. The teams will fight each other. Uh, the recent MLG Dallas tournament had 2.6 unique visitors. Each visitor watched for 150 minutes on average during the weekend. That's crazy. If you ask somebody, hey, did you see the Super Bowl? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then the person who said yeah probably watched the Super Bowl for 36 minutes. but. For an MLG watcher, that's 150 minutes. Uh, when they're not in tournaments, they're at home practicing and they're live streaming their gameplay for viewers to watch. It's two dollars for every thousand people watching. And these guys get up to 20,000 people on their streams watching. So that's forty dollars every time they run an advertisement. And they can pick when they run an advertisement. Usually it's in the loading screen between games. And they have sponsors. Uh, the team that Brian Wiley was on has six sponsors, according to Silomid.net. Uh, they have Origin, Astro, Hyper, Corsair, Ventrilo, and Asus. These companies sell computers, keyboards, headphones, and uh, voice communication software. The teams are dedicated. Not only do they entertain, but they have schedules and curfews that they attend. The teams. Uh, live in gaming houses together. They move in with each other, they take showers in the same house, they live together, they go places together, and this, it reflects on the battlefield when you watch them live. They go over, they have special replay rooms in their gaming houses to watch their uh, big games of where they messed up. Even if they win, they're looking at their games to see what they can do better. But for the big picture, uh, of esports in general and pushing it forward, it's going to become uh, more of a sport and less of a joke in the future. Because in the past, esports has kind of been lame. But now with League of Legends, Riot Games is really putting in the investment to make it something big. They even have sportscasters, just like ESPN. In high profile matches, there's two nerds on the table that sit there and talk about the game as they play. They have live commentary, it's crazy. <laughs> the thing that eSports is going to bring is similar to normal sports. What do normal sports give us? Well, idols to look up to, they inspire the viewers, 
they bring joy for the players, and there's good sportsmanship. Not only are they showing the games happening at these tournaments, but they're also showing them shake each other's hands at the end of the game for good sportsmanship. And according to an in conclusion, esports are great for the entertainment value, the dedication, and the big picture ideals to society. According to uh, natural orthopedic and neurosurgery, three million sports injuries occur every year. With esports, there's not going to be many injuries. <laughs> there's going to be no Kevin Wares or six inches of bone sticking out after playing some hardcore League of Legends. But there, yeah, and it even shows, according to Squidoo, that video games, as video games go up, violent crimes go down. So that tendency for video games inspire violence is, I would say, false. But there's not many studies on it. So, with the low risk of injury, all that matters is the mental game, your reaction times, and your teamwork and communication with your team. So even somebody in a wheelchair can be on an even level with uh, the pro gamers. So, in the, in the future, look out for esports and root for a team. <laughs>